This video will provide a, an overview of using measurement profiles in SA, which really is the way to open up the door to getting the most from the newest tools in the firmware version 1.1. Once you have your instrument and connected, then you can be in this full interface, and there are some advantages to that. And that primarily is the use of measurement profiles, and there are three default profiles now. Area scan cloud, line scan points, and ring scan cloud. And the thing that you need to realize is that these are simply defaults. They are placeholders that can be edited, which is kind of a nice thing. So if I were to go to an area scan, for example, and open its properties by pushing this little ruler magnifying glass button, I can bring up the properties. And it may look like a lot, but there's a lot packed into this very small dialog. You have the ability to set a min and max distance filter, and these are interactive. So if I were to push the button, it would measure and say how far is it to the current beam location. And you can use that information to define a zone around the beam state if you want. So again, I measure and then just simply edit the values, 200. And now I have a zone around my part that is limited in distance. So even any data that is beyond it or too close or too far will be excluded. You can also set an area, an angle of incidence filter. So data that's at a bad angle will be excluded automatically. So you've got these cool little tools and you have direct access to the overview camera if you want to define or edit an existing uh, perimeter. So. Here you see I have a region scan that includes a uh, reflectivity target on the wall and um, that's already available which is on the controller so I can actually save this using these distance filters as a predefined um, filter. So if I do that I save it I can call this intensity target and it will now be a new target saved as part of my measurement profiles and that can be done at any time. So in addition to the quick selects, which are there, you can then adjust uh, and s select any one you want. And these predefined ones, like I have several of those now, but I can go to an area scan that I had defined earlier and bring up that region. And you'll see that there's no region around my intensity target anymore. I can then zoom in on the zone and you'll see that it's defined over here on the table of something else that I was measuring. So that's really the power of measurement profiles is that you define zones, you have the ability to apply the filters and interact with the overview camera or directly with points and perimeters that are saved um, in the graphics. So let me just show you that as well really quick. If I were to get rid of that um, zone, there's a new tool that allows you to measure directly in the graphics. So I can simply click where I want to measure and I will measure points in SA. There. And say I had measured a bunch of points um, in, the, in the job and I wanted to define a perimeter based upon those points. I can select perimeter and select those points and it will define a very strange looking perimeter there which can be then sent to the controller by simply saying select perimeters. So if I select that perimeter in SA and hit enter, it will be now sent to the controller as a new region. And if you open up the region scan, you can then see that although I missed and I picked some bad points, the uh, scan region was sent to the controller and is part of this measurement profile now. So if I wanted to, I can then save it. Save as random um, perimeter perimeter let's try perimeter and now I have a new measurement profile so again closing that you can then go on and use the other one the other thing we have here is lines so lines are set, handled separately than profiles again you have min and max distance and you can look at the lines that are defined on the controller and this uh, will actually be ignored. What we're really looking for is the lines. And the lines, in this case, have already been defined once. I saved it at one point. So you can bring up, again, save set of perimeter points to define a line. And a line 
is composed of points along the line and across the line and a distance with threshold. So these are really rectangular zones and it makes it really easy to define a new area in order to scan. And finally what we have is the third is a ring scan. This is a different mode entirely. So um, this allows you to use an ATS 600 much like a, a room scanner. And so you can set a distance between the points that you want to measure a reference distance and then and these again uh, work as measurements so I can directly measure by clicking on the reference distance but then you define an angle with respect to the trackers base so you can say min zenith you can click on that and you can say max zenith and in this case since I didn't move the tracker um, they're the same but this allows you to very quickly define a scan angular zone and then scan around the tracker head to measure so these again can be sent uh, directly to the tracker. So that's um, a really fast overview of measurement profiles.